What's up everyone, Nameco here, Fantasy Smack Talk. Again, doing another off-season video, big moves, big names, new places. And while this isn't the biggest name, this isn't like my Forte or Murray, the household names, this is a very fantasy relevant name. But before I tell you that, even though you saw on the name, so clearly you know it's Ladarius Green, Let's talk about what you gotta do to win. Fantasy Smack Talk developed an app called Fantasy University. It's gonna give you all the tips and advice you need to win. It's the prep prior to the season, how to do blockbuster trades during the season, setting your lineups, should you pair quarterbacks with wide receiver, all of that fun stuff, and then what you should do to win in the playoffs. So click on the card, check out the app, but let's talk about Ladarius Green going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ladarius Green signed a four-year, $20 million deal. It is a fantastic move for the Steelers, I feel, and a fantastic move for Ladarius Green's fantasy output. Here's why. Heath Miller retired. Kind of took some people off, off guard, but you know, his, his, he's had steady decline. So Heath Miller's gone. Obviously, Big Ben loves to throw the tight end. That helps Ladarius Green. Oh, and now, by the way, Martavis Bryant probably ain't going to play this year. So he's probably going to get suspended for the whole year, kind of like a Josh Gordon type thing. So that touchdown, that big touchdown, red zone threat, that's gone as well. So you got Brown, and now you got Green as <laughs> being the two top two targets right off the bat for Big Ben in that crazy good throw all the time Pittsburgh offense. Ladarius Green is 6'6", 240 pounds, and can absolutely run. He was playing behind Gates for the Chargers because, you know, Gates is the future Hall of Famer, you know, but Gates is 35 years old. We'll get to him in a second and what that means for the Chargers. Let's just finish with Ladarius Green. This is the way that I'm looking at him. I think he will get a ton of targets. Hopefully he has chemistry off the bat. That's the only thing I'm a little bit worried about because Heath and Big Ben had a great chemistry. Will Green and Big Ben be able to work that out in the in the preseason or in training camp, etc. So if all of those things happen and ever starts clicking, I see Green as a potential top five tight end, maybe even top four, right? I'm taking Gronk over him. I'm taking Jordan Reed over him. And of course, I'm taking Olsen over him. Olsen two, Reed three, because I do like Reed for the Redskins because when he's healthy, the guy's ridiculous. But after that, you know, I'm looking at Tyler Eifert. I'm looking at Kelsey. I'm looking at the stats they put up last year. I do believe Green and that offense can outproduce both of them, could even move into the top three. I wouldn't be shocked to see that. So I think there is a ton of upside for Ladarius Green on the Pittsburgh Steelers, simply because the offense and simply because the volume he's going to get. All right, let's talk about the Chargers. Let's talk about Gates. So they lost Green, so they ended up re-signing the 35-year-old future Hall of Famers, I previously said, Gates, back to the Chargers. But Gates had been so good in the past because they didn't have the weapons. The Chargers this year, Phillip River does have the weapons. They got Allen, they got Johnson, they just signed Benjamin from the Browns. So I think Gates really plays a secondary role. And while I was saying Green could be a top five, maybe even top three potential tight end this year. And I know that's kind of crazy. That is me stretching it. So let's just keep with top five. Top five potential this year for Green. I'm not gonna have Gates ranked inside of my top 10. Too old, too injury prone at this point in his career and too many other weapons around for San Diego. So big, big sign for the Steelers. If you got green in like an auction keeper for like a buck, congratulations. You just locked in a tight end for probably the next few years because I think he's gonna really excel with the Pittsburgh Steelers.